with just a couple of brush strokes, we'll add custom paintings to our Minecraft mod. 121 Minecraft modding course is available down below, with over 11 hours of content covering everything from the basics all the way to block entities and custom mobs. All right, friends, welcome back to the channel. In this tutorial, we're going to add custom paintings to our Minecraft mod. And the crazy thing is, no code needed in this tutorial. I know, absolutely freaking fantastic, but it is actually true. Now, of course, we're going to use the data JSON file similar to the jukebox song that we've used over here. And of course, those could theoretically also be done with data gen. So there is a possibility to do this with code. But I'm going to be real that the JSON files are so freaking simple and easy that really the only thing you need to note of is the spelling of everything, right? So that the folders are named correctly, the files are named correctly, and then you're basically good to go. So in the data tutorial mod folder, we're going to right click new directory, and this is going to be called the painting underscore variant. Very important that we write this correctly, painting underscore variant, double check the spelling, super easy to make a mistake right here. And we're going to create one of the JSON files and then I'm going to copy over the other two. So in the painting underscore variant folder, right click new file called saw underscore them dot JSON. And this JSON file you will find is super freaking simple. It's going to have an asset underscore ID. It's going to be tutorial mod colon saw underscore them. And then we're going to define a height, which is going to be two. And we're going to define a width, which is going to be two as well. Now the height and width defined right here is the height and width in blocks for this particular painting. Meaning that you are going to have, if it's like a one to one, then it would be a 16 by 16 pixel painting. And then a 2x2 would be a 32x32 32 pixel painting. And you can go up all the way to 16x16, 16 16, which would be 256 pixels by 256 pixels, which is a huge painting. And also, it would literally be a 16 block by 16 block painting. That is the maximum that you can go for with the width and the height. And then now that we have those two, we're going to copy over the shrimp as well as the world JSON over here as well. Because why the frick not? You can see very straightforward over here, literally the same thing, like super easy JSON files, nothing too crazy. However, that's not all of it because we also need a tag for this and this tag needs to go into the Minecraft data folder. So in the data folder, once again, right click new directory and we're going to call this, we're going to call this Minecraft inside of there, a new directory called tags and inside of there, another new directory, once again, called painting underscore variant, making sure we write this correctly. And then in the painting variant, folder over here, we're going to create a new file called placeable.json. There you go, placeable.json. Make sure this is written correctly, otherwise it might not work. I, I mean, it definitely will not work if there is a typo in there. And then we're just going to copy this over because it's a very basic JSON file. Literally, we're just pointing to all three of the different painting variants. That's literally all we're doing here. Nothing spectacular going on and should be fairly self-explanatory. But that is still not everything we need because for paintings, we're going to need number one, a translation. As you can see, the translation here is actually a little bit different. It is painting.tutorialmod or your mod ID, of course, then the name of the painting given, I mean, basically right here. And then we have a title and an author. You can see the author is always nano tech because well, all of the paintings were done by nano, but the title obviously changes depending on what the actual painting is, right? So that is a very important thing. And that is to basically add. And lastly, well, we also need textures for the paintings because otherwise, what are we even going to display? So in the textures folder, we're going to right click new directory. I'm going to call this painting, painting singular, very important. And then I'm going to copy over all the paintings that we might need here, the saw them, shrimp and the world. And with this done, that is everything we need to become our own Picasso here in Minecraft that will add all of the paintings. Very straightforward, as I've said, really, it's not it's nothing too complicated. Regardless, though, of course, all of the JSON files and everything will be linked down below in the GitHub repository. But with that, let's jump into the game and see if it works. All right, fans, are back in Minecraft. And let's just take a look. If I start typing in nano attack, you can see we get those three paintings. And I can also get the random variant, which is going to, well, sometimes spawn some of our own paintings. You can see there is the first one. Let's just spawn the rest over here. There we go. And let's just take a look if I can get the shrimp here as well. Sometimes, obviously, it takes a while because it literally just paint, takes like a random variant. So obviously, you know, that takes a while. And then let's just see if we can't get the last one here as well. This would be saw them, obviously, with the creeper over here. And come on, let's get it. Come on. There we go. Finally, we got it. And that is all of the different paintings over here, obviously added both individually as well as added to the random variant. And that is custom paintings added to Minecraft. Absolutely freaking awesome.
And that's gonna be it for this tutorial right here. Next time in this video, we'll talk about custom enchantments. Hope to see you there. So, yeah.